Greetings, I'm Chancellor Kent Siverud. It is a pleasure to welcome you to one of Syracuse University's most cherished traditions, the Holidays at Hendricks virtual broadcast. Year after year, this concert has been a special opportunity to enjoy the talents of our student musicians and vocalists and gifted Setner School of Music faculty. My thanks go especially to the Hendricks Chapel Choir and Artistic Director Pepe Kelvar. I'm also grateful to our Hendricks Chapel staff for hosting and sharing this joyous celebration with all of you. Many students and others in our community will travel great distances to spend winter break with family, friends, and loved ones. Whether just down the road or across the globe, may your journey be safe and may your days be full of peace and hope and good company. Thank you for being part of the Hendricks holiday tradition at Syracuse University. I wish you a happy holiday season and a new year filled with the uniquely orange spirit. Thank you, Chancellor Severud, and greetings to you. My name is Pepe Calvar. I am the artistic director of this program, and I have the great privilege of serving as director of the Hendricks Chapel Choir and Setner Sonority. There are so many wonderful things happening in Hendricks Chapel and in the Setner School of Music. The Hendricks Chapel Choir completed a tour of the United Kingdom this past May, where we traveled with the Syracuse University Wind Ensemble to London, Edinburgh, and Lockerbie, Scotland to commemorate the 35th anniversary of the bombing of Pan Am Flight 103. The tour was an extraordinary experience for our students, providing memories that will last a lifetime. We hosted a high school choral festival here in Hendricks Chapel this past month, and we hope to continue hosting a festival for guest choirs every November for the foreseeable future. Our choral area will be hosting the Lorelei Ensemble, a professional choir directed by Beth Willer here in March as part of an exciting lineup of Malmgren Concert Series performances this spring. The series will also include a world premiere performance of a Jazz Freedom Suite a collaboration between the Hendricks Chapel Choir and the Theodicy Jazz Collective. Our university singers will culminate the academic year with a tour of Brazil. Overall, I can't think of a more exciting time to be involved in music here at Syracuse University. I have fabulous world-class colleagues and incredible students, many of whom you'll hear in this performance. We are thrilled to be bringing Holidays at Hendricks back to our audiences around the world via our webcast. Once again, this year's broadcast is produced by Brian and Logan Simons of Sensational Events, who also provide significant support for lighting and aesthetics here in beautiful Hendricks Chapel. I'm grateful to Alex Snow, Nadine Haynes, and all the staff at Hendricks Chapel who make our live program and our broadcast a phenomenal experience for all our audiences. I wanna thank Dean Brian Conkle of Hendricks Chapel, Dean Michael Tick of the College of Visual and Performing Arts, and Milton Laufer, Director of the Setner School of Music, for their leadership and support. As always, all our music for this program was recorded before a live audience in Hendricks Chapel. We opened our program with Splendor, the opening movement from Elaine Hagenberg's extended work, Illuminare. The performance featured all of our choirs and the Syracuse University Symphony Orchestra under the direction of James Tapia. Elaine Hagenberg has become a favorite composer of ours. We featured her music for the first time in our online broadcast of Holidays at Hendricks back in 2020. I'm pleased to introduce the Hendricks Chapel Choir's first set of pieces. First, you'll hear O Sacrum Convivium by Lithuanian composer Vitautas Mishkinish a piece I heard for the first time while on a conductor's exchange in Guatemala. Then we'll perform William Walton's Jubilate Deo with university organist Ann Laver and soloist Bridget Backer, a sophomore in our music industry program. Thanks for watching. It's my great honor and privilege to give you the Hendricks Chapel Choir.
My name is James Tapia. I am Director of Orchestral Activities at Syracuse University's Setner School of Music. Holidays at Hendrix is a centering and collaborative experience for the Syracuse University community. It is a heartwarming and inclusive celebration of all of our Syracuse University families. The Syracuse University Symphony Orchestra delights in being involved in this remarkable event. We will perform Hanukkah Festival Overture, a wonderful medley that includes many beloved holiday songs that create a festive musical montage honoring the spirit and traditions of Hanukkah. Composer and arranger Calvin Custer studied at Carnegie Mellon and Syracuse Universities and spent much of his career in association with the Syracuse Symphony Orchestra. It is a true honor and a pleasure to include his wonderful work as a part of tonight's celebration.
Hi, I'm DJ Pickell, and I'm a first-year master's student in choral conducting. Hi, I'm Ben O'Connell, and I'm a first-year master's student in choral conducting and music education. Center Sonority is an SATB choir featuring over 50 students coming from all colleges around campus. Our two selections today are James McKelvey's Deck the Halls and Joshua Jacobson's Al Hanisim. Deck the Halls is a traditional Welsh carol dating back to at least the 16th century. It was popularized in the United States during the 1800s and has solidified itself as a standard piece of the holiday repertoire. This joyful and uplifting song celebrates the festive spirit of the holidays. American arranger Dr. James McKelvey puts the tune in 7-8 rather than the traditional 4-4. Four, four. The lopsided feeling of this meter conveys the excitement and chaos of the holiday season while remaining true to the lively and cheerful tone of the original carol. Al Hanisim is a traditional Hanukkah prayer recited during Amada prayer in Birkat Hamazon. The prayer praises God for saving the Jews from the Greeks during the times of the Maccabees. Only the first part of this prayer is used in this joyous klezmer style arrangement by Joshua Jacobson, one of the foremost authorities in Jewish choral music.
My name is Joseph Maxola Seledo, a second year master's student studying organ performance, and I also serve as the inaugural Hendrix Chapel Organ Scholar. I'll be performing a solo organ arrangement of Go Tell It on the Mountain by Dr. Richard Elliott, principal organist of the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. It is based on a traditional African-American spiritual. I chose this piece because I have always admired Dr. Elliott's virtuosic pedal technique. I've had the privilege of meeting him twice once in Ghana and the second time at an organ master class right here in Syracuse University. I really love playing this piece because it is joyful, uplifting, and embodies the holiday spirit. It is a fun and challenging piece to play, especially because of the pedal writing. In the opening, listen for the hymn tune in the right foot, while the left foot takes the swing accompaniment. I hope you enjoy it. Happy holidays. My name is John Warren. I'm director of choral activities at Syracuse University and conductor of the University Singers. In the Bleak Midwinter is a beloved Christmas carol set in Christina Rossetti's famous poem. English composer Rebecca Dale created a new melody, but its rhythm and phrasing, especially in the first verse, reflect the familiar settings by Gustav Holst and Harold Dark. Dale's music travels from fairly simple harmonies to more unusual chords and clusters, 
climaxing in the third verse. On the text, angels and archangels and cherubim and seraphim, the choir erupts into soaring clustered chords in 12 parts. The final, more intimate stanza features soloist Ainsley Santa Croce, a junior music industry major. I hope this carol becomes a new favorite for you. Our second selection is Swiss-Brazilian composer Ernst Widmer's Psalm 150. It is truly a hallmark of 20th century choral music and a remarkable fusion of musical, musical cultures. Generally set in six voice parts, the music is intense throughout, featuring an array of polyrhythms, bitonality, polytonal melodies, and challenging counterpoint. It exultantly cries out, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Alleluia.
danza, chippa nu, i 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 danza, My name is Allison Pasco, and I am a second year orchestral conducting graduate student. The traditional tune of the Ukrainian bell carol is attributed to Mykola Leontovich and is based on a traditional folk chant. It tells a story of a swallow flying into a household to sing of wealth and bounty that will come to the family the following year. The composer uses the four note pattern in many of his compositions, but this is by far his most famous. The tune was later adapted as an English Christmas carol, Carol of the Bells, but the lyrics of the two songs have nothing in common. The English lyrics center around the theme of the bells. In this setting, arranger Andrew Wainwright weaves the traditional Ukrainian carol with the orchestral sounds of bell tones.
I'm Maria Elise Ambrose, a junior at the Sentner School of Music, majoring in sound recording technology and minoring in information management and technology. I've been actively involved in the Hendrix Chapel Choir for three semesters, and I currently serve on the e-board. One of the most meaningful experiences I've had was traveling to London and Lockerbie, Scotland with the Hendrix Chapel Choir and Syracuse Wind Ensemble. I have had the honor of developing close, long-lasting relationships with my fellow choir members as a result of my involvement. These connections are a testament to the power of music to bring people together and fostering a sense of belonging that transcends time. From our Hendrix Chapel performances to our trips to London and Lockerbie, I couldn't help but think about how our experience, like that of alumni from decades past, demonstrates the choir's incredible capacity to unite people from all walks of life. La Anunciación was composed by Ariel Ramirez, a renowned Argentine pianist and musician who fuses liturgical and popular music styles. La Anunciación is from a larger collection of holiday tunes titled Navidad Nuestra, or Our Christmas, in which Ramirez combines Afro-Indian and Latin American dancing styles and features lyrics written by historian and songwriter Felix Luna. Ramirez captures the spirit of the season by giving each movement a distinct regional flavor. This first movement, inspired by the chamame, a folk genre from northeast Argentina, evokes a passionate dance partnership with its brisk rhythm and solo melody line, sung by senior psychology major David Goss. Please enjoy the Hendrix Chapel Choir's performance of La Anunciación from Navidad Nuestra by Ariel Ramirez. Joy is a wonderful set of gospel-style holiday originals and arrangements premiered in 2003 by the Broadway Inspirational Voices. One of these originals, A Christmas Wish, features an original melody built on We Wish You a Merry Christmas as a counter melody. Our performance represents the first ever collaboration between our combined choirs, our orchestra, and our jazz ensemble. Our wish for you this season is sung in the text. May your days be wholly blessed, filled with love and cheer. We wish you joy. We wish you love. We wish you peace. Here is A Christmas Wish from Great Joy by Michael McElroy, Joseph Joubert, and Burl Red.
Hello, my name is John Cajola, and I am the chair of the Music Education Department, Director of Jazz and Commercial Music, and the conductor for the Morton Schiff Jazz Ensemble. Our first selection is an easy swinging arrangement of Hark the Herald Angels Sing, originally prepared by Richard DeRosa for Germany's WDR Big Band album, Soul Christmas. DeRosa's well-crafted arrangement of this traditional Christmas carol interjects a laid-back presentation of the familiar melody framed by an exciting saxophone section solo with answering brass hits and improvisational solos over a foundational groove modeled after one of Benny Golson's most famous compositions, Killer Joe. DeRosa displays in this arrangement his true mastery of jazz composition for the modern jazz big band such that when you hear these angels sing, you know they swing. Although he was an American radio and television pioneer as a writer, actor, and comedian, best known for being the co-creator and first host of The Tonight Show, Steve Allen was also a gifted musician and prolific composer. Writing more than 8,500 songs, Allen's music was performed and recorded by many prominent singers of the day, ultimately leading him to win a Grammy Award in 1964 for Best Original Jazz Composition. Cool Yule, written by Allen in 1953, is another example of an original composition first recorded by Louis Armstrong and covered by many others, including Rosanna Vitro, Bette Midler, and the Brian Setzer Orchestra. The version you will hear tonight was arranged by Sherman Irby for the 2019 album Big Band Holidays 2, featuring vocalist Catherine Russell and the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra. Irby, who is a jazz alto saxophonist, prepared this arrangement, including a shout chorus that offers a respectful nod to composer Neil Hefty's Splanky, made famous by the renowned Count Basie Orchestra. We hope you enjoy our performance and that your holidays are filled with peace, joy, and good cheer.
the grown-ups and the boys and girls so dear. Santa comes on big. He comes a calling when it snows the most. When I get cats asleep and warm that toast, and you're gonna think when old Saint Nick takes the lick on a peppermint stick. Comes a flyer from a higher place. Fills the stocking by the fireplace So you have for you that's cool My name is Brian Conkle. I serve as Dean of Hendricks Chapel here at Syracuse University. 
Thank you for taking part in this special online broadcast of Holidays at Hendrix. In a few moments, we'll experience a series of very special performances. The world premiere of O Magna Mysterium from Christmas Cantata by our very own Pepe Calvar, followed by Silent Night from Franz Gruber, and The Lord Bless You and Keep You by Peter C. Lutkin. While performed and recorded here in Hendricks Chapel for our in-person audience, we hope the meaning found within these melodies reach far beyond the physical boundaries of this beautiful building. As we wish to bring holidays at Hendricks into your hearts and also into your homes. Thank you to all within the Syracuse University community for helping to make this online broadcast possible especially Pepe Calvar as Artistic Director, Alex Snow, Nadine Haynes, and Brian Simons as producers, the staff of Hendricks Chapel, and our outstanding collaborators from the Setner School of Music and the College of Visual and Performing Arts. We thank Chancellor Kent Severud and Dr. Ruth Chen for their significant support. And of course, thank you to all our outstanding students all of whom have displayed amazing grace and astounding grit this sacred season and beyond. As we draw nearer to the conclusion of this program, I do wish to encourage you to support our efforts here at Hendricks Chapel. We wish to keep offering this Holidays at Hendricks program in person, online, free of charge, and with a rising standard of excellence please do consider visiting our website at chapel.syracuse.edu and please know that we appreciate your generosity. And so my friends, thank you once again for being with us. My hope and my prayer are that this 2023 performance of Holidays at Hendricks stirs hearts and minds in ways that inspire us to sing during the storms of life so that we all can bring much needed joy to our world. May this time together bring you a full portion of grace and peace this day and always. Thank you and God bless you.
Thank you.